Let's get into house magic number three. This is what you do. Now, before I get into all that, this is illegal. Yep. Is it you're going to get thrown in jail illegal? Nope. It will just be either they will kick you out or maybe it'll cost you some money. But if you do this correctly, you'll be making money for a long time before they even catch up with you. What you do is you go to Zillow, you go to Craigslist, and you rent a four to five bedroom house. Possibly three, but you're gonna get more love with a four to five bedroom house. Is you rent the house and you make no preparations to move into the house. This is where the illegality stuff comes in, but not criminal illegal, municipality illegal, by law legal and such things. You move into the house, you put down your deposit, you get it furnished, then you rent out rooms. Now, let's say you can get a four bedroom house on the outskirts, 1600, let's say 1200 to $1,600 per month. What you do is you rent out two bedrooms for $600 per month. Now you got two more bedrooms. Then you also rent those out, try to get 700 for a month. So that's 1300 plus 1400, that's 2700. Say your rent is 1200. So you've got maybe a 1200 because you're gonna pick up the utilities, you're gonna pick up the cable and stuff, and you do that. Now, this is where the magic happens. You go out and you repeat the process until you have four or five houses. So four or five houses is gonna be five or $6,000 per month tax free because you're renting houses. Now, this is something that you will do that's a little different. You will not classify this as a boarding house situation. You would classify this as a roommate situation, which is perfectly legal. You will advertise this spot on Zillow. You'll advertise it on Craigslist. You'll advertise it on roommates.com. You'll advertise it on Facebook. You'll advertise it on nextdoor.com because essentially what you're doing is becoming a hustling property manager. Now, if you build up to about 10 houses, it's gonna be about 12,000 to $15,000 in personal income per month that is tax free. Now, how do you go ahead and get this set up? Because here are some of the gotchas. Some people that you may rent a house from may live in the neighborhood, so that's gonna be a problem. Uh, some people that you rent a house from, they may occasionally drive by the house and they'll see all these cars, that could be a problem. Uh, some people who rent out the house, they may have a neighbor there who's gonna narc on you. Now, this is why you need multiple houses because let's say you got your first house situation going. You're making money, then six months later, bam, 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 and the landlord comes on. Hey, I didn't give you permission to authorize you to rent all these other rooms. Y'all gotta get out. Now, he can't just throw you out. He can ask you to leave, and he'll have to formally evict you for breaking the clauses of the lease, which it's not really a problem because he'll get his deposit back. Or what you can do is get real smooth and say, look, I'll pay you an extra 200 bucks per rent. If this guy, you know, just go ahead, like, these are all clean people, these are all good people, we have no drug addicts, and, you know, you can try the sweet part, which will extend the time that you'll be getting rent, or, you know, he goes ahead and gets the stick, he evicts you, and then you go out and rent other houses. So part of this is a little risky, because if you get an eviction, that is going to show up on your personal record. So. What you want to do is like, look, we'll leave, just keep the money and keep it moving. Now, how do I know that this will work? Now, you've got three neighborhoods that you can do this in. You can do this in lower, middle, lower income neighborhood very easily, even probably easier than other two. You can do it in a middle class neighborhood and you can do it in an upscale neighborhood. How do I know? I live in an upscale neighborhood. Round the corner is a frat, uh, is a frat guy. And he has four, yes, he's got a five bedroom house, which he has the mortgage on, right? He's living there and he's renting the other bedrooms to his frat brothers who all happen to be engineers or finance guys. This is an $850,000 house. Uh, the mortgage is probably 33,000 to 4,000 a month. So he's got all of those guys in there paying a thousand bucks a month. 
That's four grand a month. He's living rent free. Once the house appreciates, he's going to bail it. Everybody wins. These guys get a banging house to live in for less than they would rent a one bedroom apartment in this neighborhood. A one bedroom apartment in this neighborhood is going to cost you uh, in a not totally desirable area, about thirteen hundred. And the more upscale ones are going to cost you seventeen hundred to twenty five hundred. So they're getting more bang for the buck. This works. You just got to have the heart of steel and the heart of a lion to make it work because it's not going to be easy. Nope, it won't. Now, part of what you need to do is to make sure that your credit is straight. And how do you do that? Be sure to reach out to Patty and say, look, I was in a tax slayer group and I need to fix my credit. Can I get that for 50 bucks? And she'll hook you up with a coupon for 50 bucks. I'm here to help you win.